Good morning. This is my second attempt to make this video. Seems like something doesn't want me to make the video. I'm getting all kinds of noises and distractions, but so hang in there with me. I think it's going to be pretty informational. Okay, you see on the screen here, um, there's a video out that I posted a comment on done by this independent Baptist, Independence Baptist Church. And the name of the video is What Does the Bible Say? Sons of God versus Fallen Angels. And um, the gentleman made a comment on the video. Um, and he starts off and he says, You know, please, I humbly ask you, how can you honestly teach this doctrine? And, um, you know, I made a comment on this too. I had been, I found this guy's channel and he did a very good video series on America being Babylon. And I gave him kudos on it. But then I responded to this video and um, I told him, I says, well, you know, your mom's off base on this issue. As far as the sons of God, seeing the daughters of men were fair and took all that they wanted, and that's where the Nephilim came from. And uh, Genesis 6 talks about how Noah was perfect in his generations, and that's the whole reason he was chosen when God just, just, just decided to destroy the earth the first time around because man's DNA had been corrupted. And if you read the book of Enoch, it even goes even further and talks about even animals and plants. So, anyway, this this guy is trying to open a dialogue. Uh, this uh, spoken night ministry is trying to open a dialogue, and this preacher, um, what's his name? I think it's Sam Adams. Um, yeah, Pastor Sam Adams is stacking the deck, and that's what this is about. Um, I've had. This, uh, uh, some conversation with some different people. And this is really a, I'm probably going to end up doing a series on this because this is something that I really have been not wanting to do. But the Lord just keeps telling me over and over and over again, I need to get this out. And basically what this is about, this is about false teachers and deck stackers within the body of Christ. And I'm running into this I can't even tell you. I mean, on a daily basis, people that, for the most part, are, are respected on the YouTube community or in the YouTube community, considered Christians, etc. But they'll be teaching, you know, on some things, and they're they're just right on, and on other things, they're miles off base. And what they're doing is they're hiding comments, stacking the deck. And um, twisting the scriptures to su support their opinion. Now, my position is, those of you that know me, you know, is is basically like the Bible says: let every man um, let let every man be a liar and let God be true. In other words, let let the word speak for itself. Okay, but when you got guys like this, Pastor Sam Adams, stacking the deck, hiding comments. Um, it's kind of hard to get the truth out and to have in a dialogue and, and to contend for the faith. So you see here, uh, you know, these various comments that, you know, are showing up. But these things are like ghost band or something. Okay, you guys have heard me talk about this before. You've been following my channel. But if you go over here to the right side of the screen in Google+, and this is kind of an amazing thing, that the, the, the comments will generally show up in Google+, but they won't show up a lot of times on YouTube. And if they're showing up on YouTube, um, even the ones that do, if you sign out and or go to a different browser, they won't be there. So this is like something that Google and or YouTube is complicit in. If you notice that this says, you know, view all five comments. All right. So I'm going to refresh this. And it's going to say, the continued from part one. it's going to say that, um, you know, there's only five comments and that's a lie. Okay. 
So here you go. Spoken Night Ministries. Please, I humbly ask you, how can you honestly teach this doctrine? Five replies. Okay. View all five replies. There they are. All right. But that's not all the replies. So if you go back to the Firefox now, you see a lot more than five replies here. Okay. So that, that count is off right there. But if you go over here to Google uh, Plus, you'll see 20 comments. Okay. Uh, again, on the Spoken Night Ministries comment, please. I humbly ask you how you can honestly teach this doctrine. 20 comments. 20 friggin' comments. And only five are showing up. And so, I, I got no choice. The Lord's telling me to do this. I'm going to do it. Let the ashes fall where they may. I don't care if I get the criticism. I don't care, you know, how many people come against me. I don't care because I'm here to please God, not man. Okay? And I'm here to wake as many people up as what's going on. Now, this is just one case of many. I'm having problems uh, with Jonathan Clegg's channel, and much to my surprise, even VP Earthwatch's channel. But you notice here, I just clicked on all the comments, and, and look at all these comments that are not showing up, okay, to this gentleman's comment. <clears throat> clear, clear and open case of deck stacking. All right, same thing happened with BP Earthwatch's channel, and I like BP. I mean, he, I followed him for years now, but you know what? This is another form of lying. This is a form of stacking a deck. This is a form of, of hiding the truth. I'm not into it, and I can't support it. And I think that's part of the problem that's wrong in the church today. You know, you can't tolerate this. You have to expose the truth, and I don't care if it's another brother you have to tell the truth. You have to bring it out to light. If you don't step up to the plate, and if you don't expose people that aren't being completely honest in all issues, then you're complicit. Okay? So, I did a, v, uh, I did a video on this, BP Earthwatch, Freemasons, Bundy shootings. You guys might want to watch and explain, you know, where I build my case on that. And then also... Uh, let's see, I've got another one here, Jonathan Kleck. You know, I've done a couple of videos on this. Um, you know, where he'll bury in comments, and he threw me off his channel and said I was rude and brutish, and, and that's a lie, because I posted the, the, you know, the comments, and I said, please, somebody tell me, anybody tell me where I'm rude and brutish, brutish and nobody, nobody anywhere came back and said, yeah, you were rude. No, everybody says your comments are great, Gav, you know, it's, it's justified. Now, here's one more. Um, this channel, C. Ivana2, same thing. I made a comment on her channel and um, regarding something that she was quoting Jonathan on. And uh, I just said, update. It appears that C. Ivana2 channel has allowed my comment. And warning about Jonathan after all. Please, uh, excuse me, see her video entitled Macy's Thanksgiving Parade 2015 Satanic Nuclear Bomb New York City Float Subliminal if interested. And I gave the link with my comments as followed. And this is what I said about Jonathan. I says, Jonathan's ability to see some things is truly amazing. But there is a dark side to Jonathan. He actually believes that Eve had sex with Satan, and we are all the offspring of same. He also believes that we are fallen angels in human bodies. I kid you not. And that Ch Ch excuse me, Cain was the child of Satan and Eve. Be very careful. As he refuses to see the truth, and he will ban you uh, for sharing same. I mean... Again, Genesis 4.1 makes it clear. And Adam knew his wife Eve, and she conceived and bore Cain. It could not be more clear than that. So, 
I'm just doing what the Lord wants me to do. I'm going to probably end up making a playlist, and it's got, probably going to be entitled something to the effect of false teachers and deck stackers. I even went through, the, through this the other day with a Paul Begley video, believe it or not. Uh, somebody was making, Paul was saying, tithe, 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 tithe. You want blessing, tithe, 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 tithe. You know, and that's kind of out of character for Paul. I like Paul. Um, you know, watching his stuff is kind of humorous the way he is and everything. But, you know, somebody made a comment that says, tithing's not biblical. And I said, you're right. I said, your first ministry is to your own family. And uh, your first responsibility is to your own family, taking care of your own family. And then if you can help others, then help others. But, you know, a man that doesn't take care of his own family is worse than an infidel. So, um, of course, my comment was removed. So, let's see if I can find that video really quick here. Oh, here it is right here. Paul Begley's, one of his recent videos, Wall Street Falls, 295, and World Markets Tumble. Okay, and, and this person came on and said, Tithing is not biblical. Christians, hard times are here, and you need to put up supplies. Um, if you have extra, then help someone who can't afford uh, extra to prepare for the coming collapse. The true church is not brick and mortar. These buildings will soon be gone. This guy nails it. Well, here's my reply. Exactly, and well said. I have a ministry in the Philippines. Remember, your first ministry is to your own family. Paul removed this, like, instantly. So, you know, as much as it hurts me to have to call Paul out on this, Paul, I'm calling you out. You're a deck stacker. You're receiving the flock. And, dude, get it together. Okay, it's not about money. All right, and I know you guys that are slick willies, and you you know you, you teach a lot of truth, but then you throw some a little leaven in there. Okay, so repent, Paul. Repent, Jonathan. Repent, Pastor Sam Adams, because I'm calling you out. Repent, Siavana too. All right, I'm gonna make this a regular deal, and I'm gonna encourage people that uh, have experiences with this to report it to me. And uh, I'll verify it and everything, and I'll make videos until I get cooked off YouTube for doing it, you know, if YouTube doesn't want it. I wonder why YouTube allows it. Maybe it's because they get views and advertising is associated with that. And it's not about the truth. It's about the money. I wouldn't be surprised. But there it is. I've done my part. I'm trying to get done before things get noisy around here. And uh, love you guys. If there's any way in the world I can help you guys, let us know. All right, and if you want to flee Babylon, I'll do my very best to help you get out. Um, but my suggestion is, if, you, if you're going to remain, uh, really, really, really hard times are coming to the world, but they're, it's going to really, really be bad in America. My Bible says she's going to burn in one hour. I'm thinking it's not the place to be. But um, if you can't leave, I suggest you get out of the big cities. And you store as much rice and beans as you can, and maybe uh, some personal protection items, and uh, have your own land so you can grow some some food and some water. You know, have your own water source, and uh, stay away from GMO seeds because everything is all about corrupting man's DNA now. That's what D GMO is all about. But I'm not going to go any further on that. Uh, the, the, this video is about deck stackers and false teachers and those that twist the, the truth. And I'm not saying that everything they say is false, but, you know, like I said, a little love and spoils a whole lot. So here we go, guys. I'm out of here, and uh, thanks for bearing with me. And uh, take care, and if I can help you again anyway in the world, let me know, okay? Take care. Love you. Bye now.